Welcome to my motorcycle tour of places made famous by the Cali Gang. We started the tour in Melbourne just after 8am on Saturday morning and headed up to Beveridge where Ned spent the first few years of his life then up to Avenal where he went to school and his father died to Benalla to a museum and where Joseph Byrne is buried to Glen Rowan, the site of the shootout where Ned was captured then on to Beechworth to visit some of the historic buildings like the courthouse, lock-up and prison Powers Lookout where Ned spent some time with Harry Power to Stringy Bark Creek where the three policemen were shot and to Mansfield where the graves of the three policemen are. From Mansfield we travelled down to Yarra Glen for final goodbyes and then made our way to our homes in Melbourne. Ned lived in Beveridge with his family for about 10 years in this house. The uh, Catholic Church at Beveridge was where the Kelly family uh, went on Sunday and also Ned went there for Sunday school. At Avenal, uh, this is the coach house uh, where Richard Sheldon's parents lived. Richard was rescued from Hughes Creek by Ned. Ned's dad, John Kelly, was buried at Avenal in 1866. And we have arrived safely at Benalla to inspect some of the buildings, including the courthouse where Ned was tried for stealing. At Benalla we were shown many Cali artefacts, including the scarf Ned was given for rescuing Richard Sheldon from the flooded Hughes Creek at Avenal, and Ned was still wearing this scarf when he was captured at Glen Rowan. Joseph Byrne is buried at Benalla and we visited his gravesite. We then went on to Glen Rowan where we visited Kate's cottage and out the back there's a replica of the Kelly homestead. Also at Glen Rowan is uh, where the Glen Rowan Inn used to be. That's where they were held up for a while before the big shootout. And we're now at Beechworth where we visited the courthouse, the lockup, the telegraph station and some other buildings. It's a very historic place and there's lots of Cali memorabilia at Beechworth which we saw. We then moved on to Powers Lookout where Ned hung out with Harry Power, a bush ranger. Next we went to Stringy Bark Creek where the armed but out of uniform policemen were shot. At Mansfield we found the three headstones of the policemen Thomas Lonigan, Michael Kennedy and Michael Scanlon. On this tour were Adrian and Janice, Trevor, Kathy, John and Jane. Perhaps you would like to join me on the next tour of the Kelly Country. It was a great weekend, good company, terrific roads and lots of history about the Kelly Gang to discover and explore. <laughs>